As you all know what happened yesterday, it's my reaction video. I probably should have done it yesterday, but I was not in the mood to. Um, as we all know, the dogs uh, suffered uh, an embarrassing loss on the 90th birthday of Sanford Stadium. Um, they played horrible. There's no way to uh, sugarcoat it, out-coached, out -coached, uh, the philosophy was wrong, just desperate at times, that physical played, everything, everything that could go wrong did go wrong, Jake Fromm had a bad day, had a very crucial, costly mistake, throws, just throws it up in the air on back, on his back foot, one leg, and pick six, stand the half, you can't do that, also, you you can't uh, have a good drive and finally hurry up and then the first play of the fourth quarter, fumble a football. You can't drop a ball wide open and then have it picked and expect to win the game. Uh, that's that's basically all I have to say about that. I'm not going to be ranting. There's no need to. Um, there really isn't. Why should you rant when the team obviously didn't really care? You know, dog fans, we deserve better than this. We're still the best uh, fans in the country, and uh, we deserve better than that. And so uh, there's no need to rant. It's just disheartening. Um, but on, on the other games that I talked to about, like pre-games I was most excited about, I want to also talk. Talk about like uh, like Tennessee, who I said was going to win. They did, so I'm just glad about that. Wake Forest, an exciting game, 62-59. I uh, picked Wake Forest to win 20-21. I was wrong. Well, not only wrong on who was going to win, but wrong on the score. So their great undefeated season has died. Um, I just want to give an uh, LSU. Whoo, Joe Burrow, he's legit. Ooh, is he legit? I also want to give out to teams that are undefeated that no one shines a light on. Uh, Minnesota is six and zero. No one's talking about them, and I just want to say congratulations on being six and zero. Baylor, who's six and zero too. No one's talking about them. Um, they're six and zero, uh, and they they haven't won pretty, but they're winning. And I just want to say congratulations to Baylor. You know, having. They won in overtime, double overtime against Texas Tech, and then the and then the last game before they won on a game winning field goal against Iowa State. So good for them. I also want to say uh, Wisconsin has impressed me. They might win the Big Ten. Uh, they haven't traded all year. You know they're no, they're no they're not flashy. They ground and pound. They just they go out every week and just play their up to their best capability. You know they don't overlook anybody. That's the reason why they haven't chilled. So I want to congratulate them. Boise State is undefeated. Um, that that's also uh, congratulations to them. And uh, you know, if this was ten years ago, they might be like a top five team, but they kind of fell off. But they're back to undefeated. SMU is undefeated for the first time since 1982, since Pony Express, and since the death penalty that they had back in the early 80s. And I just want to say congratulations to them. But last but not least, this is a quick video. I just want to say, uh, move on. We got to move on to Kentucky. And that's the only thing we're going to look forward to. It's just Georgia, Kentucky. No more looking ahead. You know, just dog fans, just relax. Don't listen to anything on your Twitter. Don't let anything like that go dog you down. Just. Hopefully, uh, we beat Kentucky, focus on Kentucky, and we can enjoy that win against Kentucky. And that's all I have to say. And nothing too much to say. And, uh, woo! Go dogs, always, till I die.